Seven ball tight and 840. They're your fancied runners in the first. Lovely night. Probably, oh, temperature, Hula, what do you reckon? Graham's gone 17. I'm thinking it might even be a bit warmer, about 19. Anyway, in, somewhere in that region. I came thanks to Mike at Radio TAB as we get set for the first. Ready? The all-important weather report in. Green light. Ready? Racing. Oh, Happy has well pinged out. There goes the favourite straight to the lead. Bull tightened down the outside, coming to second, followed by Fast Noodle, and then came Bradley Benz, but out of the stretch. And Happy has well. He put the... Uh, the uh, foot to the floor and dashed about four clear of Bradley Benz, followed by Fast Noodle. A goodly margin then to Mr. Hoppins, and further back then came Bull Titan. Well back, Garangay Duck, and then starting Monday, and Cosmic Boss, the last one. Happy Haswell's gone further ahead. He'll run time. Look at him go. Happy Haswell, one by seven. Bradley Benz, second. Fast Noodle, third. I reckon Garangay Duck might grab fourth just in front of Mrs. Hoppins. And there followed then further, or Mr. Hoppins. Further back was Bull Titan, then starting Monday. Cosmic Boss, last. Wow, we. Look at this, 29.6. We'll await confirmation, but if he's in that area, he's um, carved up the place. Wow. We await confirmation of that time. Sometimes it can be a false alarm when they're that fast, but we know he's a good dog and he's won by panels. Yep, 29.64. Tearaway size 230 on the fixed and 240 on the tote, so that's about where she lies. Trained by Reg K, who won the first heat of the Young Guns with Happy Haswell, who went 29.64 and scored by seven lengths. Green light. Racing. Oh, Matty Yarn has come out and just gone back behind the boxes, the five. It's out of play, obviously. Dutch Striker began brilliantly and went out to the early lead and got right away. Oh, gee. Dutch Striker sets up seven lengths. Scoozy coming after it, followed there by Knight Templar. And then Tearaway Size, he got squeezed back to fourth, followed by Dream River Californian Dude. And they've got that five, Matty Yarn, off the track. Coming to the turn, it's all Dutch Striker by 10 on Scoozy and Knight's Templar. There's no Tearaway Size at the moment, but Dutch Striker. Dutch Striker won by eight. Second, Knight's Templar. Third, Scoozy. Fourth tearaway size just in front of Dream River and Californian Dude. And Mattiana came out of the boxes and just went straight round behind the boxes and has been grabbed there by the handler. About 29.80 is the run by Dutch Striker. 3.20 and 2.40 on Tats Bet for Rayburn. Look at the five just came out. Took, said, What's going on here? Where's my handler? And found him. Right. Haven't seen that for a while. Dutch Striker. Very lightly raced greyhound, trained by Ray Berman for Mary, sponsored by the Charcoal Inn. And uh, only one Queensland trained dog actually there, a kick em shilling for Jerry Bow, but there's four heats of the Casino Cup tomorrow afternoon, the first heat at 1.59. Right out, green light. Here we go. Racing, and Mr. To Us missed it. Flying out there was Super Velo, went to the lead. Gun speeds in hot pursuit from Wild Ride, and then came Marlon Slayer. As they go around the first turn, Give Me Class was last. Super Velo down the back by two and a half on Gun Speed. Five away, Marlon, Fly, uh, Marlon Slayer. Then came Mr. To Us, and further back was Titan Ash, followed by Wild Ride, and then Blue uh, Houdini, and Give Me Class the last one. Round the corner, it's all Super Velo right out in front, and Super Velo won it brilliantly. Mr. To Us grabs second. Gunspeeder fading third, Titan Ash fourth. Then came Give Me Class and Marlon Slayer, Wild Wright and Blue Houdini about 29.8 the run. Well, isn't racing a strange thing? Sandra Hunt had that uh, greyhound in the previous that came out of the boxes and took a left-hand turn and walked around the back. 20 minutes later, she wins a heat of the young guns in brilliant style with Super Velo. Good luck to her. She deserved a change of fortune. 4-2-1. Four, four, was never a chicken shop called the Charcoal Inn. The pub on the hill on the way to the dog track. <laughs> you learn something all the time, don't you? Grim Creeper, number three, 250 here for Tom Noble. Tats bet favourite. Green light, ready. Racing, he missed it, the Creeper. Out fast was Fem Jolly, he went to the lead from Iron Major and Jackson's Days into the fray. Right down the outside, Grim Creeper is one of the last. Going out of the straight, Iron Major won that battle by a length and a half on Jackson's Day. Then Fem Jolly inside, Jaden Lash. She's close enough if good enough. Ten lengths away the others, Flash Houdini. Grim Creeper, Velocity Spice and Pikelet is the last one. Near the turn, Fem Jolly went right through on the inside and grabbed the lead. Oh, Iron Major came out and bumped Jackson's Day out of the road, but it's all Fem Jolly, and Fem Jolly won brilliantly. Grim Creeper flew, got second. Jaden last third and Flash Houdini fourth. Then came behind them then was going to be Pikelet and then came Struth. Six and eight, Ryan Major and Jackson's uh, day having a nice old stouse there going towards the catching pen. 
Femme Jolie, number one, 1380 and 410 for Jan Warner. Three Grim Creeper, I believe, will arrive in time to get second at 160. Four Jaden Lass, the little bitch, basically obscured there, will get third for a fortnight ago. Golfing Amy had two wins here. We'll look out for Rainstream, number eight. We'll probably get back, but a real strong uh, finisher, Rainstream. And uh, won't sell that one short at any stage. Jason, the starter, gives the green light. Ready to go. First leg of the quaddy, Albion. They're away. And golfing Amy came away nicely. She's going through to the early lead there with Spring Colorado and also Obama Lass. And then came White Hornet, Nave back midfield, followed by Rainstream charging into it. Now golfing Amy's drifted back through the field. She got back to second last and Dark Blast is the last one. Spring Colorado assumes control. Nave a length and a half away, closing. They're clear of golfing Amy. Then White Hornet and Rainstream was just a bit flat footed at that point. Spring Colorado with a good kick on the turn. Nave tries hard and then came White Hornet. Spring Colorado and Nave. Here they come to the wire. Nave grabbed the lead. Nave at good odds beat Spring Colorado. White Horde at third and golfing Amy was fourth and the others are sort of booked before the catching pen there. Dark Blast, Obama Lass and also Rain Stream who was a bit disappointing in the run home. Number one Nave, 440 and 190. Gunning down number nine Spring Colorado at 6.20. The place we're in a cheeky race out in front for a long way. Seven White Horn at third and golfing Amy number three, four. Coast Parklands closed in July 2008. A great dog won the last Gold Coast Cup. El Gallo. Well, the last Gold Coast Cup on the Gold Coast was the great El Gallo. And he went here in a couple of weeks. Green light now. Placid Planet in the two. They're racing, begins a bit awkwardly. Builds Fantasy out in a big hurry, out of tempo, going through, and Placid Planet is just behind them as they drive up to the first turn. He's going to balance up third, about four off the lead. Railing through Fusay Chican, followed by You Say So. Well back, La Sira News, coin of phrase and seven straight. Down the back, favourite has to lift because Builds Fantasy's on the lure by a length. Out of tempo, coming after it. Three away, Fusay Chican, and then came Placid Planet. Builds Fantasy, the first for home. Out of tempo's after it. Through in the middle, Fusay Chican. Placid Planet flew, I think out of tempo from Placid Planet, Fusaichi Khan and Seven Straight were close up with Bill's Fantasy, great finish, then you say so, La Sira News, coin of phrase alongside those, I think the three will just get in here, not much, not much in it, maybe the three out of tempo just from the fast finishing two, Placid Planet, yep it's happened, out of tempo at long odds here, $15 and three forty in the second leg of the quaddy, no tats bit. OK, the Lightning sponsored by the A-Team. The Greyhound's being trapped. They'll run around about 18.8, you would think. Miners Moss actually ran a record here in the heat on Sunday at 18.72. That's the new track record. Green light. Ready. Miners Moss, the favourite now for the Lightning at 3.30. Racing and Ideal begins brilliantly, goes to the lead. Miners Moss last away. Ideal tackled by Bank to Khan to the first turn from Eleonora Beach and then came Gemma Jewel. Well back is Styx Rose High. Miners Moss, Black Phonic and Paws Down coming around the corner. Bank to Khan takes the lead for the darts and Bank to Khan wins the lightning. Ideal was second, Eleonora Beach third and Gemma Jewel clocked in fourth. Behind these then came Miners Moss, Styx Rose High, Paws Down and Black Phonic last of all. Number four, Bank de Khan. Greyhound's only had seven starts in his career and has now won six of them. 18.91 is the time. Well, I phoned John Dart this morning to ask him if he had an opinion on his three runners and he said, yeah, I think Bank de Khan's the best of our three. He said, I fear oh, ideal. He said, I fear ideal more than minus. There are Yogi Blue and Fred Seeley from the uh, Peter and Amy O'Reilly kennels. Well, Jetta's girl, thanks, Brownie. Jetta's girl has come into two dollars eighty now, so she's the new favourite. Wing delete's got right out to three eighty. When I say right out, he was a dollar fifty there ten minutes ago. Trifecta pool fourteen thousand six hundred as the lure rolls. Race eight, Albion Park. Green light. Ready. They're off. Wing the lead out okay, but Cindy Special wins the jump and takes the lead. You can talk down the outside, followed there by Jetta's Girl, putting herself into the picture from Wing to lead. Then not held and Honey Bouquet out to the back and Cindy Special. Three lengths in front of You Can Talk and Jetta's Girl. Then came not held. Wing to lead not going well, dropped out. And Honey Bouquet is last, but it's all Cindy Special at the moment. Well clear of You Can Talk and then came Jetta's Girl. Cindy Special is clear. She's given a faultless display. Cindy Special by four. You Can Talk second. Honey Bouquet 
they grabbed third. Not held was fourth. Wing to leader battling fifth. And Jetta's girl having her first run at 5.20 metres in quite a while. Dropped out to be last. Two Cindy special. 5.30 and 2.80. Eight you can talk. 2.50. Four Honey Bouquet. Who was the $16 outsider in the field has grabbed third spot. The trifecta pool on Tatsbet wound up at 16,501. So it should be a decent morning for the Rocky Futurity. Right, one King Ellie at 370 and eight Love Kills at 370. Now joint favourites ahead of seven R8, 470 and two Lulu's Lad, who was the favourite a couple of minutes ago, is now out to the $5.30 line. Really good little fifth grade, this one. Green lights on. All bets are locked in. They're ready. Race nine. Racing. Fancy Stitches pinged. Straight to the lead in the yellow rugged goes from King Elliot and Lulu's Lad. Checked out the back where all you can and Railroad Rocket. Into the back. Fancy Stitches three in front. King Elliot coming after it. A length and a half. Love kills. Lulu's Lad is fourth and then came Hawko's Mistake. A long way back. R8 and then came Railroad Rocket and all you can. Near the bend for home. Fancy Stitches a length and a half. Love kills is going to be the danger if there is one. Fancy Stitches and Love kills. Fancy Stitches still in front. Goes all the way. Fancy Stitches a length and a half. Love kills. Lulu's lad third and Hawko's mistake clocked in fourth. Then came King Elliot and Railroad Rocket. All you can and R8 came in last of all. Five fancy stitches for Ridge Hazelgrove. 14, 40 and 360. Eight Love kills a dollar eighty and two Lulu's lad a dollar eighty as well. 30, 11 the time. Hawko's mistake will get fourth. I do. Radio Andrew, thanks a lot. We have Outback Hero as our favourite for John Gagan here at three bucks off the inside box. I'm with Jan Donnell here, number eight, showing four dollars. Forward they come at the 5.20 metre mark for race 10. Outback Hero the fave, three dollars. Green light is on, race 10 Albion Park. Here we go. They're away. Out fast supervision shoots out to the early lead from Late Show Angel and Jan Donnell's down the outside. Blue Den about fourth. Then came Strong Stanley, Windfall, Tweed Chicken. Outback Hero is back last of all. Along the back and supervision highballing by two. Late uh, Show Angel is second. Two more lengths to Blue Den. Jan Donnell trying to make ground. And then Strong Stanley, Tweed Chick, Windfall and Outback Hero coming around the corner. It's all supervision. Nicely out in front. Uh, and supervision wins the nightcap. Late Show Angel second, Blue Den third, Jan Donnell I think in the pink rug would climb in, uh, chime in fourth then came Blue Den Strong Stanley, Tweed Chick Windfall actually might have called Blue Den twice in the run on there, Late Show Angel was no, not, what was the other one back there anyway, not to worry as the air would say